and welcome everyone. This is a walkthrough or let's play The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. Oh, this is one of my favorite games uh, for the N64. A lot of great memories playing this game growing up. So uh, let me just lay down the ground rules and then we will get into the game. This is going to be a 100% completion game, meaning I'm going to get everything in the game. Um, there's a bullshit object called the Giant's Knife, which, well, you know, I guess I will get it. Debating on it, I will get it just to show you what it does. Now, some of you might be asking, why are you Let's Playing this 17-year-old game? Fuck you, that's why. Um, like I said, it's one of my favorite games for the N64 pretty much ever, and I just figured, why the hell not? Let's do a Let's Play of it. Um, for those of you who haven't played it, it's not really a role-playing game, it's more of an action-adventure game. And we'll, um, we'll get into that as the Let's Play progresses. So, like I said, it's going to be a 100% completion. Every mask, every bottle, every single gold Skulltubba. And I'm going to get everything in every single dungeon. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any glitches, and I'm playing the American game, or the NTSC version of the game, as you can see. So, no glitches, no speedrunning, just good old-fashioned Let's Play. Okay. So you get three files when you load up the game. This is showing you one that you know has everything. This is my um, my playthrough right here because I like to play the game before I actually record, just so I remember where everything is. And let's go ahead and let's start our new game. So our character's name is going to be Link because he is the hero of the games. Well, one could debate Zelda is, but rename our character Link. Now, one thing I will say, I'm using Virtual Dub to record this. Um, unfortunately, that means I have to play the game without any audio, but I don't think there's anything where I really have an audio cue. So, let's get going. And basically, the Deku Tree is talking. He's talking to a fairy. And Link starts off this game as a uh, Kokiri, I believe they're called. Yeah, Kokiri. Um, children of the forest, they don't age, they don't leave the forest, and they all have their own personal fairies. Well, Link has never had a fairy, and Navi is going to be his fairy uh, for the game, and they actually use Navi really ingeniously to do Z-targeting, and I'll talk about that um, in a little bit. I'm going to try not to overload you with information if you haven't played this game up front, as we're watching a little dream sequence here. That is Zelda, by the way, on the horse. Yep, that's her riding right there. And I'm sure this is just a dream. I'm sure this absolutely will not happen at all in the game. Mm, wonder who that, that dude is. And I'm sure he's not important. Okay. So, yep, now he's going to talk to the fairy. So basically... Um, you start off as this child of the forest, and the Deku Tree, who's the guardian of the forest, calls you because he uh, feels evil in the world. And like I was saying, I don't, I can't hear the sound, but I've played this game so much I can pretty much probably sing the tune of the game. But don't worry, I'm not going to do that. The Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier. Hmm. Seemed pretty uh, unpowerful there, dude. The boy without a fairy to begin his journey. And in case you can't guess why we don't have a fairy, you'll find out eventually. Yep. Yeah, we know you don't have much time. In fact, even though we're going to get through um, your dungeon as soon as possible, it's probably still going to be too late for you. So now the fairy is flying off, trying to find us. And we're going through the uh, Great Deku Tree's meadow into the forest of the Kokiri people, and here they are. Hello. Hello. Um, yep, that guy's always pulling up rocks. Uh, Kokiri Forest is kind of not that important to the game. It's where you start out, and it's where you can learn how to do certain things in the game if you've never played before. Uh, 
luckily I've played, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna try to explain things as they come, and not overload you at the beginning with just 15 minutes of me talking and no uh, game action, which is why I've already started. So she's gonna try to wake us up, and we're sleepy as fuck, so she's gonna have to be a little extra forceful. Yeah, we know he wants to talk to us. Yep, we want to sleep. That's me on a weekend. Oh, and also, just in case uh, anyone was wondering, I am playing this on N64. On N64. How about an N64? Let's use our proper grammar there. Um, I'm not playing it on GameCube. Um, so I'm playing it on N my N64 through a capture card. So that's why the video is just going to be 480 and not 720 like my Final Fantasy videos. So she's our partner now, the great Deku tree wants to see him, so let's get going. Okay, there we go. And I'm not going to uh, spend any time in his house. Because now uh, our girlfriend's going to run up and say what what's up. That's Sarah or Saraya. I don't really know exactly what the pronunciation of her name is. But she says hi to us, and because we're a baller, we don't climb down ladders, we backflip. So, let's go talk to Sarah. Yeah, we have a fairy. Yep. So. Hmm. Oh, now we're a true Kokiri. Isn't that nice? Yeah, he has. He wants to say what's up. Yeah, it is. So she's gonna wait for us, and we're just gonna be off to see the great Deku tree. Now, if we go over to Link's house... Oh, stop climbing. And take a look. I believe that's Link fighting Ganon, uh, right there. And I'm getting a little bit of lag, so I really hope I don't have to record the audio after I play. And I lose all these wonderful uh, gems. Look at that. Ten seconds. I've been doing something for ten seconds, and Navi's already saying what's up. You can see that little up arrow in the corner. Yep. We're heading towards a great Deku tree, Navi. Chill your tits. Ugh, this douchebag. Mr. No Fairy. I love how that's supposed to be an insult. Anyway. Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. Well, that's uh, that's quite an unusual statement. So this dickbag is named Mido, and he's like, uh, the great Deku Tree can't possibly want to talk to you, and he's going to make sure that we get a sword and a shield before we talk to the great Deku Tree. Stop being a bitch. Yep. I don't know, if you'd stop talking to me, I'd go get a, short, a sword and a shield. I keep wanting to say sword, like I'm on Celebrity Jeopardy. That's not really my British accent, so... Well, if you would shut up, I'd go equip those. Okay. So, you can't buy a sword, you can buy a shield. And first we're gonna talk to this girl right here. I hit the Z button, it focuses in on her, and then the action button, or the A button, the blue button, says speak. So Navi flies up there, and that's that's how you Z target. Yes, I know how to, no, I don't want you to teach me. Luckily, I think, yeah, there we go. So like I said, I'll explain everything further. I don't need these little um, walkthroughs. And we'll get five rupees back there. Basically, um, if you talk to him, he says he sells sells shields, not swords. And a shield is 40 bucks, or 40 rupees. So, let's see. Eh, first things first, we'll get the uh, sword. And as you can see, I'm rolling forward. Rolling and uh, hopping is something that... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Speedrunners. Yeah, speedrunners will do because it's slightly faster than... Walking, and that's also why they play, I believe it's the Japanese version, because there's less text to scroll through. So we're going to walk through here, and basically there's going to be a big-ass boulder trying to hit us. 
And if you read that sign, all it would say is that you can peer around corners like this. I'm holding holding Z to focus, and then I just kind of walk. And there you can see the boulder, but first things first, let's grab that blue rupee, which is five rupees. Wait for the boulder to pass, and we're just going to follow it. Three rupees are one. And this treasure chest right here. Um, this treasure chest is used, these big chests are when you get an item, or a dungeon map, or a compass for a dungeon. And speaking of dungeons, I do want to say, um, Link's house that we started in, in the game, that is where you will, uh, restart after you save your game, if you turn it off, to go on and come back. No matter where you are, you will restart in, uh, Link's house. Uh, the only exception to that is dungeons. If you save at the beginning of a dungeon, and, or anywhere in a dungeon actually, and you have to, um, you know, save and come back, you will restart at the beginning of the dungeon. So it's always nice to try to, uh, when you start a dungeon, complete it. So you can see we have no sword, so we have to go to the menu. You can see I pretty much have nothing in this game, and right here, sword equipped. And now we can slash shit. Because remember, we need 40 rupees um, to pay for this uh, shield. So we got the rupees here. I don't think there's any other ones that I can get. Maybe there's one up here? Nope, that's just the stupid sign. So we're going to crawl through here. And go get us uh, some rupees. So we're just crawling through... This guy wants uh, to show us some moves. I know how to do moves. Just gonna chop shit. And it's not giving me any rupees. And basically, the move that he wants to teach us is like a jump attack. See how I got my sword out? So if I back up, I can poke. Or... That's gonna read it. Whatever, I'll show jump attacks later. So, we gotta get 20 more rupees. 21. There's a 5 up there that I'll get in a minute. But, I believe this is... Is this Mido's house or is this Sarah's house? Oh, Mido's house. Now, well, because you're a piece of shit, we're gonna go to these smaller boxes. Steal your blue rupee, that's 5 rupees. Grab another five rupees. And that one um, that I'm not opening, I believe, has a recovery heart, and I think this has five. Oh, one. So I need ten more. And that's just a recovery heart in there that I don't need at the moment. So to get some more rupees, you can just run around in here. We got two. And if you jump across these spots right here on the little little moat runway whatever thing you get five and we'll get our last five by running up here hopefully i don't fall off like i did like 20 times when i was playing this through again so you just run up here talk to this one yeah. I know I'm a real man. Okay, so we got 40 rupees now, 42. And she's saying we should look around just to see what it's like. Up there is the Lost Woods, which we will be spending a decent amount of time in. But, for right now, let's go and get ourselves a shield. So we're gonna run over here. Talk to this dude. No, we don't want to talk to him. So yeah, he says shield. They sell shields, but not swords. So right here, the Deku shield. I'm gonna buy. Um, just be advised, and I'll point this out later. Uh, the Deku shield is made of wood. So there's certain events that transpire in the future where you can um, it could burn and you could lose it. So nope, nothing else I'm gonna buy. So we're just gonna go to the item subscreen, equip it. Now we got a nice cool shield on our back, and now we can go see the Deku tree. And um, one thing also to point out is pretty much in every dungeon there is a treasure, 
So we'll get um, more items. For instance, you see how this item screen's empty? Well, we're gonna get uh, the fairy slingshot in the upcoming dungeon. And then equipment, uh, we'll have a couple swords to get throughout the game, some tunics, some boots, and other shields. <sighs> so let's talk to Mido again. Yeah, I have those two things. That's right, bitch. That's a shield. It's the Kokiri sword. It's the treasure of the Kokiri people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one to talk. You know what? I don't really care that you don't accept us. Yeah, you want to know why I'm the favorite of Soraya or Sarah? I'll tell you why. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Yeah, what do you think of that? That's right, walk over there. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to the Deku tree, hear a story. But first things first, encounter some enemies. Right here, these are Deku uh, Babas. And I'm gonna kill them, and they give us Deku sticks. Deku sticks are basically wooden sticks, they can be used as weapons. Uh, they're predominantly used to transfer fire from um, a torch to an unlit torch. So I'll go ahead and equip those. Uh, those are Deku Babas. You can find either, either they stick upright like this, or they lunge out and try to uh, bite you. When they try to bite you, they give you um, Deku nuts. So, just run to the screen and the Deku tree will begin to talk. Hmm. I am getting some lag with this. I hope it doesn't keep up, because like I said, I really don't want to have to record, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of video in silence, and then 20 to 30 minutes of audio on top of it, but it looks like that may be what I have to do. So he hasn't slept well, he's been having a shitload of nightmares. Not surprising considering all the shit that's living inside him. Yep. Test thy courage. Oh, so we gotta go ahead and break the curse. Now if you say no, he'll basically just say, um, return to me when you're feeling courageous enough to undertake it. So we'll say yes for now, and he's going to open his mouth, and we can walk inside. So, yep, you gotta aid us, Navi. Yep, I already did that. So, yeah, you, the C buttons, they're called on the uh, N64 controller, the four directional buttons. Um, use the up one to listen to Navi. So, um... I'm gonna end this here. The next episode, we will be tackling the Deku tree. And I'm just gonna kill these two uh, Deku Babas and get a couple more six. So, um, that's it for now. If you happen to watch this before I record the next episode, which will probably not happen considering I will be recording the next episode uh, tomorrow, we will enter the Deku tree and we will see if we can break the curse and begin our journey. Uh, we're not going to meet Zelda for a little bit, but that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching this first episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. Have a good day.